Hey guys, what's up? This is Nintendo Boy 16. Um, I am first off sorry I haven't done a video in a while. I have been waiting to get something to do a video on, but I actually have two things to do a video on. The first thing you guys are gonna love, because I got finally got a tripod for my camera um, that I can finally actually use that will work and won't be a piece of junk. So you guys won't ever have to deal with me having to hold the camera and moving it around a lot to be able to show you things. Now I can use this little device, which is really cool. Um, my camera, I actually already have it set up to fit into here. I just need to be able to, it's on a stand that just slides in and clicks. And then this thing has all kinds of things. And I got this for $4 at Goodwill, which is pretty dang good for something like this. And surprisingly, it uses oil um, bearings in there to make it turn so it's really smooth with its turning and all that stuff like it's really smooth there's no like click 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 or like no cheap feeling it's like really nice and uses like oil in its bearing in its bearings that uses to tilt and then turn then you have the adjustment knobs for making it easier but I'm gonna so put you guys in here and then it auto auto locks and then safety lock right there and then, so I'm going to be doing a video on this uh, chair I have here, which is a massage chair, which is really cool. Um, so, let's get the camera situated here. There. Okay. So, wait, you guys might be wondering what this thing is, but it is actually a massage chair. But it's not like the regular ones. This is a very high quality massage chair because it uses um, actual balls inside of here. And I know there are so many ways you could take that incorrectly and it'd be inappropriate, but there are little, these little um, plastic like beads or something in here that move around and then they give you the massage or whatever. And there's some up in the head and they all have little suspension things on them to make it easier on you to be able to sit back in this and enjoy it. And then it has a remote, which is pretty nice. And so it has power, but it's not actually plugged in right now, so I'll put it in. It is a electric, so it needs to be plugged in, but it is a great electric device. So if I find the cord, it's right here, okay. That little click was it, was it being powered up because it has like all electronic and computer board and stuff in there. So if I push power, the blue light comes on in the remote. And then, and then you got uh, for rolling, which means that these just move up and down. It sort of pushes you forward, something like that. You have lower back and upper back, and then you have full back, which means it'll do the whole thing. It'll move all the whole, the whole way up the carriage and the whole way down. And then you got like a some like rolling massage or whatever where these roll around and then they do, do like pressure point thing or whatever like I'm not sure what it's called but so here's the uh, rolling it's very slow though Let's see if I can get you guys zoomed in on it not sure if you can see but it is moving up a little bit and I can see it in the viewfinder here and then it automatically tells itself to move downward, which is a really big, cool piece of it. Actually, I'll put it in my green chair and show you guys it. It not look as nice, but it'll work. It's got plenty of cable to do so, so. Ugh. And it looks sort of like a car seat. So, movie. Turn the tripod over this way. You can see them better there. See those little beads moving up and down. Zoom out here. And then, if I put it into roll, that's what it does. And it's still moving up and you have, um, you have a 
spot thing on here that allows you just to leave it at one spot and it'll continue to do that until the auto timer on this comes turns off. So this has like an auto timer. Then if we pan up, there's the headpiece. We'll shut off the bottom one and the headpiece does the same thing except it's just for your shoulders mainly. And then it has adjustability to move it downward. So it moves downward or upwards. And then both of them have a heat setting where there's coils inside the little um, beads in there and then they um, heat up and it makes it warm. So makes it pretty comfortable to sit in. So I'm going to sit on it and you'll have to be able to see how it works. Hope I don't fall out of this chair. It hurts. It hurts kind of to me because I'm not very heavy so I don't have any like fat or whatever so it's kind of like painful then. But you do get used to it once you use it a while but I like it. And I got this for about, I got this for six dollars. Which these normally go for like in upwards of 50 to 150 to 200 or something depending on what it does. Then the headpiece, which I can move the shoulder piece down. And then here's another, here's one of the really cool features about it is it has an auto shut off. Where if you put this, if you click this, it'll put all of its components back into the stock position where it was originally when you left it left off and then it'll leave them there so that way once it starts up it's perfectly normal so yep there's uh the massage chair i'm gonna take you guys off the camera here and i'll just show you guys a little bit more around the thing hang on i'm just gonna tighten up the base this thing sits on there we go not as grippy as I could hope for but you see um, that this has it has your uh, pivoting thing for this so it allows you to like select just precisely where you want to move the camera which is really nice it has this which is for your up and down or I mean up and down pan pan ability and then it has this little crank here which what this does is it moves the headset up and down so you can get it as tall as you possibly want it and then you have your three legs here and then I have um what in the world why is one of them so far up? oops yeah I kind of messed one up there but <laughs> but they have th um, th two uh, levers here and it extends the legs three times as long so I'm going to take the stupid price tag off because these look really hideous. I don't even see why like, Goodwill that, that stinking needs to use these. Like, use barcodes, they're better. And they use really crappy stickers too. They're not even that good. They don't come off very easily. There's one. I get the other one <laughs> but um so I got both this and this at Goodwill which lately Goodwill has not been very good like they haven't gotten very good inventory in or the stuff that they have gotten in they've been overpricing way too high like this this I would gladly pay like $20 for something and this I'd probably pay like 10 or something but lately they've been pricing stuff like used humidifiers which is really disgusting and they've been pe charging people like 25 for them and stuff like that and they've charged 30 for this like old movie projector thing or, or something i'm not sure what it was but they charged a lot for that so i'm just back in here auto locked so lock you guys in so they um so yeah but anyway 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing my videos from now on using the tripod because this is very helpful and I like using it. Because I knew once I got it though, it's going to be a pretty easy thing to use and it's going to be very nice and not going to be shaky like my other videos where it's like moving all around or whatever. So, But I'm going to clean it up a little bit, um, get it all nice and uh, clean. And then I'll, I'll be able to use it for my YouTube videos every single time. So, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the oil, um, oil pan capability. So if I put it, turn it downward. You see how it's kind of, it I'm not touching it and it still moves because it has very, very high quality like oil in the bearings where it, like it makes it like it's smooth and it sticks sort of so you can like just leave it there and you don't have to kind of just crank at it to be able to get it to work properly and the, i love the easy release system that's pretty cool that it's able to easily come out and be put in. like in the, the camera sturdy as a rock once it's in there but anyway, I, um, I hope you guys enjoy. Please don't forget to come, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Stay cool, YouTube. Bye.